Hi guys, it's Charlie. Welcome back. This is Dassel for the FFB team. And we're here with another Let's Talk FFBE for you guys. And last time, mm -hmm. we discussed the pros, the many pros, because yeah. there's basically no cons. Yeah. <laughs> uh, buffing and debuffing for offensive purposes. So mm -hmm. when you really want to, you know, deal that extra, extra large damage. Mm -hmm. But today we're going to be talking about debuffs and buffs more on the defensive side of things. How on the to defensive side. survive through these long trial battles, etc, mm -hmm. etc. Okay, so to start with the very, very basics of the defense side mm -hmm. of this game, in order to make your party tougher against physical damage, you have to buff up your defensive stat. Mm -hmm. Well, the actual defensive stat. Stab. Right. And in order to buff up your party against magical damage, you have to buff up your spirit stat. And of course, that's not all. Um, you have to take into account the elemental resist resistance as well. Mm -hmm. In case the attack is has some sort of elemental affinity. And those are the very, really, really basic um, elements. And of course, on top of that, there are stuff like damage, mitigation, etc, etc. Mm -hmm. But those three elements would, would be the very ba base of discussion. And depending on the situation you're put under, you might want to add some damage mitigation or evasion. Well, evasion is sort of hard to come around, but mm -hmm. it is a possibility. And to get a bit more core, physical mitigation and magical magic specific mitigation as well. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, I mean, there's also the possibility of you being able to cast, you know, debuffs on different bosses. Not all yeah, bosses definitely. will take in all types of debuffs. So it does help if you before the battle do a little bit of research and go in mm -hmm. with what you know is definitely going to work. Yeah, but, you know, definitely. I dare say debuffing the enemy's attack slash magic stat is mm -hmm. going to be even more important than buffing up your party in mm -hmm. some situations. And these actually do make a difference, debuff your enemy's attack stat or magic stat. And you will definitely see the difference between the damage you take before and after mm -hmm. those debuffs. Right, so we are ideally trying to use both of those strategies. You mm -hmm. have wanting to buff your own defensive stance, depending mm -hmm. on whether you're facing a physical damage foe or a magical foe, as well as debilitating yeah. that foe as well to decrease the damage that they deal to you as much as possible. Yeah, definitely. So let's see how much buffs and debuffs actually matter against a trial with the white dragon. Okay, let's check it out. Okay. Okay, so first of all, we're going to just provoke with snow and do nothing else with the rest of the party. Mm -hmm. And so okay. Scorch. Scorch is doing 340 damage right now. Okay. And snow is furious. <laughs> <laughs> and now we're going to use Spirit Code on the snow. Mm -hmm. Because again, this is a magic-based damage that we are receiving here from Scorch, so mm -hmm. you want to focus on the spirit stat. For so, now. 342. Let's see. 175. 175. Wow, that's right. more than half. Is it? I mean, I'm terrible at math, but it's about half. Around half. Yeah, yeah. So, the number is going to look pretty small on screen mm -hmm. because, but um, rather than just the like, num how much of the number is ticked off, um, mm -hmm. you probably want to see how much percentage of the original attack right. is getting discounted. Mm -hmm. Spirit code. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, just. And then debuff the enemy. Kill. Right. And defend, defend. And Scorch is doing. Still... Yeah. Oh, 40. 40. One damage. That's <laughs> definitely more than half now. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I may be terrible at math, but even I know that that's quite, you know, the low number. To so we damage. started out at 340. Yeah. And then we went to 140. One, 140. Yeah. And 170 one, something. Yeah, 170. 170 something. And yeah. Now we're at the 40. 40. Yeah, that's amazing. <laughs> that does wow. so much difference. Yeah. 
All right, so uh, now we're doing elemental buff. Mm -hmm. El elemental resistance buff and right. spirit code. Yep, and, and Timothy's magic kill. Timothy's magic kill. So the combination of all these buffs and the debuff on the white dragon as well. Mm -hmm. So before we were like 30, 30 something? 40. 40. Just 40. And now we're down wow. to 12. <laughs> so <laughs> That's crazy. So the original damage was like three, 340 three forty something, yeah. and now we're what five percent of the. Original? Yeah, it's. I mean, it, it's gone down. Wow. The amount has drastically changed from the very beginning, and we still have one more buff to put in there, I believe. Mm -hmm. We're going to use defensive barrier. Uh huh. Well, defensive barrier has like um, defense and. Um, and spirit? spirit buff as well, but okay. um, it doesn't really matter in this context because spirit code has a higher. Um, buff rate and um, only spirit codes um, both will matter okay so well, we are just doing that for the defensive side of things then yeah so Sak sakura's um, defensive barrier will, will give us additional um, damage reduction okay okay so barfarga and magic kill yep and then all we have to do is just wait to be scorched scorched and let's see here, oh, 11. 11. Okay, so we got, a, you know, three extra like HP points that we, we, we saved ourselves. Yeah. So. so it doesn't look like a whole lot mm -hmm. if you just look at these like 3, 4, eight, like 11, these numbers. Mm -hmm. But imagine this, well, since these buffs and debuffs aren't like just like solid number of discounts is mm -hmm. a percentage big discount. Right. So for example, if you're receiving 3,400 damage off the bat, um, if you do put in all these debuffs, you will end up with like 100 damage in the end. So that, it, that does like prove quite a lot. I, right, right. I mean, I think based on the numbers, just the ones that we saw on screen, I think that is just proof enough that the more um, buffs and debuffs that you put in place, the mm -hmm. better that is going to work out in your favor. Again, not every boss will be susceptible to each and every debuff um, that we have shown here. So mm -hmm. you just have to kind of do your homework and make sure that you go in there with the party that can actually put in those breaks, like mm -hmm. applicable breaks. But when it does, yeah. it helps so much helps to so reduce much, damage. So it's, it's really good. Okay, now that we do know how much these defensive defensive buffs and debuffs matter, mm -hmm. let's go on to introduce some, well, let's say like high tier, high priority um, buff debuff units in, for, for these occasions. Okay. And to start with the defense slash spirit buff, mm -hmm. there are, well, there are really a number of units who can build these rules but mm -hmm. just to pick up some units that we would like to feature yeah out of these out of these out of the selections mm -hmm. um, spe specifically worth mentioning are Wilhelm Wilhelm well even without ability mm -hmm. um, awakenings his general's command is pretty awesome yeah but awakened to plus two general's command is Hmm, just yeah. invisible. <laughs> is, is it as amazing as his mustache? <laughs> <I suppose, yeah. laughs> okay, that's all you have to say. That's all you have to say. Yeah. And in terms of attack or magic divas on mm -hmm. the enemy, mm -hmm. and just to put Ramza on the spotlight again, mm -hmm. his ability awaken weapon break and mind break is absolutely crazy it's it the the percentage difference mm -hmm. between like no debuff or or even like some other units like t right. tier two units mm -hmm. debuff and ramza's debuff is going to make heaven and hell difference really and if you do have ramza ramza's not only just a singer mm -hmm. he, he's a his, fighter as well <laughs> he's a warrior <laughs> Yeah, his divas are really, really mm -hmm. quite amazing. So if you do have Ramza, do remember to awaken, ability to awaken his weapon break and mind break. 
Okay. All right. Good lesson. Good lesson. And moving on to elemental resistance buffs. Okay. And just to pick up uh, some, some units, mm -hmm. um, Mari and Clouds of Darkness, they are, they, well, both of their um, elemental resistance buffs can be uh, able to awaken. Mm -hmm. And awakened or not, these work wonders. Well, compared to like just buffing the elemental resistance of two elements with like dual cast magic and a green mage, mm -hmm. these can like buff around the table. And for enemies that ha have a lot of elemental like attacks, mm -hmm. this is going to be super, super, super useful. And Mari, especially since her love you all, I believe, love you all. Mm -hmm. Awaken to plus two mm -hmm. provides a lot of HP regeneration yes. over quite a long amount of time. Mm -hmm. It is going to be super, super useful in taking the heat off your party. Right. But sometimes you don't need all the elemental buffs. Mm -hmm. And in those cases, you can use characters who have good elemental resistance buff on single elements. Right. For example, Olive, Sirius, mm -hmm. our G2 six star green mage, mm -hmm. and Chloe, and Sylvia. Okay. Sylvia actually can do attack and buff at the same time. So I see. she is pretty useful. Okay, very nice, very nice. And on top of these uh, stat status buffs and debuffs, mm -hmm. there is, of course, um, damage mitigation. Right. Damage mitigation is just useful everywhere. Of course. Because it doesn't differentiate be between like uh, physical damage or magical damage. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't matter if the enemy can be debuffed or not. Yes. So picking up Riku, Riku here, mm. Riku's, if Riku does require one turn of preparation through um, synthesis, mm -hmm. but the damage mitigation plus um, Elemental resistances right. are quite useful Definitely. in all sorts of locations, and of course, Riku. Chef's LB. <laughs> I mean, uh, Riku has everything. Yeah. Granted, you have to wait. Um, you know, you have to lose kind of a turn in order to be able to cast all of these things. Mm -hmm. It's still worth it, though. Yeah. Very much worth it. And special mention to the Veritas's mm -hmm. Veritas of um, the Dark, the Earth, and the flames. Mm -hmm. These, well, Earth, Veritas of the Earth is a tank, but Veritas of the, uh, the Dark and Veritas of the Flame, despite being um, attackers, mm -hmm. can sometimes use um, the, their damage mitigation skill in a pinch for more extra survivability. So if you do have those characters, definitely worth considering. All right. Well, I mean, these all sound Amazing. Mm -hmm. I hope that you guys have learned which characters to bring with you, um, you know, depending on what battle you find yourself into. But thank you so much for dropping all this knowledge on us, yeah. Dussel. All right, so I hope we have all learned that taking care of your defensive stats mm -hmm. is just as important as being able to deal a lot of damage in whatever battle you find yourself in. And hopefully, this video has been helpful to you. If you haven't quite grasped the concept of mm -hmm. uh, how buffs works, how debuffs works. And if you would like to see any other kinds of such uh, let's talk mm -hmm. topics, do let us know on the topics below. Yeah, yeah, the comments below. Yeah. Yeah, just leave whatever it is that you're interested in, whatever you information you think you find useful, just leave it down there mm -hmm. and hopefully we'll pick it up. Um, and make a video out of it. Yeah. Yeah, but that's it for today. Yep. And we'll be seeing you next time. Thank you. Bye.